one week ago today I had this out here for the maiden on a windy day too windy to fly to be honest but uh, I get a new plane I'm always in a hurry to maiden it and that's a it's my own fault but anyway I bought this plane second hand and it had uh, one of the landing gear wasn't glued in properly and it came off in mid-flight right after takeoff so I was loping around about to come in for final approach when the the gear that came out dropped to the ground and immediately after that the thing tip stalled and fell out of the sky I thought it was a radio glitch because it happened so quick the thing rolled and down it went uh, but when I re-examined the video it, I would have assumed the ailerons caused it but the ailerons were straight in on the ground and uh, <sighs> what else can you say it was, it was just a heavy, gusty, 20-something mile an hour west wind that got it, came in behind it. I was making the final turn for approach. I was actually hoping that that, uh, that wheel would fall off. It caused less damage on a belly landing, so it finally did, And uh, but then it tipped off. So anyway, this will be the remaiden, and she's a little beat up. All I did was order a new, uh, new fuselage and a new front gear strut, so I just glued the wings, the wings. Wings had a chunk busted out of them, but uh, when I was examining it, they're still stiff as a board. There wasn't any real structural damage to the wing. So now they're, they're in good shape. So we're going to try this remaiden. Here we go. Needs a lot of up trim and those ailerons are quick. Man, let me tell you. Might have to turn those ailerons down. There we go. Get her trimmed out before I take off. Like I like to do. Lost orientation. Shouldn't do that when it's a silhouette. <laughs> oh, jets make me nervous, man. Using the same battery she crashed with. It seemed to have survived the crash. So I'm putting a little bit of right in it as we go. It's just got a little bit of right drift. Seems to be better now. I'm, I mean left drift, so I'm putting right in it. Yeah, boy, she's quick. I like it. She seems quicker than the uh, than my havoc. Let's try a loop on that repaired wing, full throttle loop. We'll test that wing glue job. All right, I'm just gonna put a three minute maiden on it. I'm gonna land her out here in the grass. Let me try flaps and see if it makes a difference in the way she flies. Well, I can lose orientation with this thing big time. Up. Yeah, I think my flaps may be a little different. It seems it seems to want to roll slightly to the right when I put full flaps down, but it's manageable. I might adjust it later. All right, full throttle pass. Nice. Yeah, you definitely in the sunshine can lose orientation on this joker. I gotta keep it down away from the sun. All right, one minute remaining. Gear down. Landing flaps down. I'll come around for a landing. Maiden landing. I'm nervous and shaking. 
I think she'll be okay. Here we go. Ooh, she's floating. Come on down, baby. Come on down. I need you to touch down right in front of me. There we go. Come on. There we go. Nice. I will take that. Yes, sir. I will take that. For a repair job? Heck yeah. Come on, baby. That's the way they're supposed to fly. Once I got her trimmed out, I'd seen videos of, of this jet. I'd seen videos of it where it just landed like a crane puff, and that's basically what I got. I was running a 6,000. The same battery that I crashed with survived. So flowing, flying the same 6,000 milliamp Z brand. 6S50C and she did good once she was trimmed out and landed nicely it's a little beat up from the crash but hey flies good so I'm happy I'm happy to have it back in the air thanks for watching